Hey guys, it's Angela. Um, I have a couple projects and a little Michaels haul to share with you guys. Um, the first project is um, obviously my um, little name sign here that I created. Um, the paper collection that I used is a newer one by Kaiser Craft and it's called um, Madame Boutique. And I used the 6x6 and it looks like this. Um, the one that I used um, back here in the background is actually this uh, polka dot one right here. Um, and I don't have any pieces left to show you because I used both of the 6x6 um, six six pages. And um, these are two heart pieces of uh, chipboard hearts that were actually um, a mini album from Michaels that I um, just kind of glued together overlapping um, right up here. And... Um, so it was just plain polka dot paper, and then I used um, the stamp set from Close to My Heart. I used this rose down here. Um, it is called Rosie Regards B1369. Um, I used this one down here, and I just um, I used also some Close to My Heart ink, I believe, in uh, Goldenrod to stamp the roses. Um, distressed the edges with my Tim Holtz tool, and then used. Uh, rusty hinge to distress the edges and also a little bit of um, frayed burlap. All of my flowers, all the big ones and all of the rosebuds that are white are from the dollar store um, or the little rosettes I mean. Uh, the rosebuds like this are Prima and um, the other ones are Prima also and I sprayed them the white ones are all sprayed with um, Lindy Stamp Gang and Desert Moon Cactus Gold. Really pretty gold shimmery colors. And then the dark colored ones are sprayed with Cocoa Bean Copper. Right there. Really beautiful brown with um, like a coppery shimmer. And then let's see. I added some of this pleated satin trim, which actually is a really wide trim, and here I'll show you what it looks like originally. I don't have a small piece left, but it's all big, but um, it looks like this with the velvet running down the middle, and I, um, instead of laying it just in the pieces with my name on it in the middle, I kind of laid like the middle you know, half, just, like, there's two pieces, basically, you know, back there to make the, so that the pleated trim would show, um, from the top and bottom. I used a stamp set from Close to My Heart for the, um, lettering. It's called the Bohemian Alphabet, and I just used some, um, chestnut brown American Crafts, uh, embossing powder. Some cream flatback pearls from Joann's, um... You can't see it on this side. There's also another heart cut out in the scalloped hearts from Spellbinders and some more of the design paper. And you can see one peeking out right here. Um, I use the, I think it's called classic scalloped hearts. Yep, looks just like this. And um, that's about it. So that was a lot of fun to create, and I figured it'd be nice for you guys to have something to look at besides my um, plain old craft mat when I am talking. So there's that project, and then the other one I'm super excited about because I just love how it turned out is I made a Valentine's banner. It's got uh, five pieces, and I can show you one by one, or actually I can pick up the camera here and show you really quick. So it looks like this. Sorry, excuse the mess. I'm actually at my kitchen counter because it's too dark in my craft room right now. So I used the um, Spellbinders um, nested lacy pennants for the base, and then I used the regular pennants for the um, second piece that I layered on. Um, all of the paper, including the glitter and the foil of paper, all came from the Martha Stewart Enchanted uh, Enchanted Woodland, and I used. Uh, some from the 12 by 12 and some from this mat pad, but I love this collection. It's so cute with like the little deers and rabbits and owls and I just love it. So um, 
This one, again, another dollar store flower sprayed with uh, Pretty in Pink Pink by Lindy Stamp Gang, um, Martha Stewart Border Punch. I just like cut a little thin strip and punched it and glued it on. Or, yeah, glued it on. Um, Martha Stewart Heart Punch. This is actually like an American Girls punch from like the girls section at Michaels. A little tiny scalloped heart. These are little tiny, tiny pink Prima uh, rosettes. Um, let's see. This piece has some leftover like Christmas spray thing from Michaels, but it's just pearl, so you know you can use it whenever. Um, this is a recollection stamp. These three in the middle all have a recollection stamp on it. And so far, it's like the only Valentine stamp I can find in their clear stamps. But it looks like this. I love the little cherub. Super cute. Um, all of them are embossed with like light pink, white, and then this is color is called rubies. So I used a lot of heart punches, a lot of um, pink and red, and um, this is some Webster's Pages um, trim from I believe the Trendsetter. Um, like the card with all the trims on it for that collection. Um, another pretty and pink pink sprayed white rose. There's that little cherub guy. Um, oh, on the bottom of all of them have a little um, cream creamish white color um, resin rose. And then um, I did some more stamps with this. This heart is like a one one piece stamp, and then the um, XOXO up there is actually from. Joanne from their dollar bin. Super cute. And then, um, I think that's just about it. I'm, I'm sure there's other stuff I used, but, um, again, I'm just really happy how that turned out. It looks super cute hanging above our mantle in our living room. Um, so, the last thing I have is just a small haul from Michael's. So, I saw these wood pieces on Gina's video, she's Scrapinology, and um, I had to run out and get them because they're so gorgeous. They really, really remind me of the um, Kaiser Craft wood pieces. So I got two of that style and then two of, the, um, of this style. I love this one. I love the round shape. Super adorable. And then... These aren't new or anything, but um, I was watching Yoli Beans, or Yoli, her uh, top 20 of 2011, and um, she was talking about these birds, and I was like, what? Oh my gosh, how could I miss these at Michael's? So I like dug through the $1.50 bins till I could find um, these little birds, little tiny felt birds. So cute. I wanted pink, but of course they were out. And then I went into the jewelry section and I got um, these charms, um, all different hearts. Um, can't see if this one says something. Oh, it says "I love you" on this one right here. They're really cool. I thought they'd look cute, even like um, on like a little bunch of flowers, like kind of shoved in with some flowers on a card or something. And I also got this ring while I was there. It's like a cameo, but it's like a little girl in a dress. And yeah, excuse my wound. That was from organizing my craft room today. <laughs> so anyways, I hate that when my hands have scratches. And then I got some glue and seal. I have to have this stuff. And I've been out for a while because the Michaels by me does not have it. The Michaels that I went to today was like an hour away. Because I was really looking for this ephemera pack um, by Kane Company for Valentine's stuff. But, um... Like Michael's in like a 50 mile radius does not have it. I'm super upset. But anyways, um, I already opened these up so I could try them out. But they're the white opaque pins by um, Ranger or Ink Essentials. So I wanted to give those a try. And then I finally found Michael's that had their new uh, recollection goodies. So I picked up the little key with all the lockets. Um, 
the floral metal pieces with the bling in the middle, and then the little tiny birds, and the one uh, bird cage. So I was really happy to find those. And then I picked up some uh, washi tape or smash tape, same thing. And I picked up a stamp press. I'm pretty excited to use this. Um, I have some larger stamps that I do not have um, blocks for. So, um, pretty cool, pretty exciting. I, did, I had no idea that it was just like foam right here. I thought it was like spring loaded or something. <laughs> but anyways, we'll see how that works. Hopefully good. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, just got some more Tomo, Tombow Mono Multi. And, um, I think that's it. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching my video, and feel free to ask any questions, and, um, I hope you guys have a great week. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.